Hello there. In this video today, we are going to take a black and white drawing. We're going to put it into laser cut 6.1, treat it in laser point 6.1, set up the, the engraving specifications and a cut and uh, put it in the laser and we'll etch it into a nice piece of wood and make a nice picture. Uh, okay, so we have laser cut 6.1 open and our picture that we, we want is um, here so now we go to, I, I have a picture on my desktop, so we just go here to import, uh, desktop, where are we, desktop, scroll down, this one. Okay, we want to go a little bit bigger. We want to go quite a lot bigger, actually. This needs to be... To resize it, you just come over to the edge of the picture until uh, the cursor changes to a, a cross. Uh, Right-click, choose size. Now we want this one to be... Now, lock the scale, so that's the aspect ratio is now locked. So we're not going to distort it. And in the X we want 300 uh, to... Okay. So that's that one. So now what we need to do is, because this is going to be the background for another picture that I've cut out. And so we're going to put this on the, in the background of an, another cutout picture. So we're going to come to our draw square tool up here and Just about that. Let's now uh, let's size that. That's pretty well right, actually. <laughs> that's that's near as near as damn what we require. So I'm going to OK that, and we're going to put that on a separate layer because laser cut will cut this sequentially whatever's above will be cut first so that's all that okay so incidentally this is the DXF file so you can bring a DXF file straight into laser cut and it will recognize it so what we're going to do we're going to etch this into some wood and I know the etching, which is the black, that needs to be engraved, okay? Engraved, etching, same thing. Double click that now, and it brings up the engraving uh, pearl. I want this to be sort of fairly dark, so I'm going to go 25. 2535. I think maybe even 40 on that. Percent output. Minimum, maximum. I think that will do us. Bi direction. So, in other words, it's going to fire left to right and right to left. 400 millimeters a second. That's the, the speed that the nozzle is going to, or the laser nozzle is going to 
sweep across the picture. Engrave blowing, always have blowing on. No matter what you're doing, always have blowing. A scan gap. Now, this is how far, after each sweep, the laser will progress to the next line. Okay? And that is uh, 0 0.09 of a millimeter. So it's just under, um, you know, sort of just under a tenth of a millimeter. All right? That's where I normally like to, to keep it. it. This is a, a two and a half inch focal lens, which is the best all rounder. And uh, I'll go more into lenses and the shape of the beam in upcoming videos. Um, so you get a better understanding of what's going on. None of this matters now, so I'm going to press OK. And now let's select this. Oh. Select this one. And this is a cut 20 millimeters. That's fine, 65, 60. That will be, uh, actually, we can probably go to 22 millimeters a second. Always blow in. This is the cut parameters for uh, the plywood that I'm actually cut in. That is fine. And we're going to say OK for that. I'm now going to transfer all those parameters, the written program, onto my thumb drive and we'll take it to the laser and etch or engrave this picture and then cut it out. OK? Go to download, output file, my storage device, and we're going to call it uh, AU back, the background. Save. got a fairly fast computer so it doesn't take long I mean that was millions of, line of lines of code <laughs> thousands of lines of code and it did it just like that so that you know that the higher grade computer you have uh, with these types of programs this uh, and Cavco you know things happen a lot quicker so we'll now go to the laser and engrave and cut this picture <laughs> 